this is the greatest extent solar eclipse, partial solar eclipse that we're going to get for a really long time. So on Monday, April 8th, 2024, the moon is going to get in between the earth and the sun. The moon is going to cast its shadow onto the earth. And if you're underneath that shadow, you get to see an eclipse. Now, which part of the shadow you are under determines how much of the eclipse you're going to see. So here in the Chicago area, the way we'll see it is at it at the eclipse's peak. So this is a little after 2 p.m. on April 8th, 94% of the sun will be covered by the moon, which is impressive because that was more than we got in 2017. Um, the eclipse will start in, in for timing in the Chicago area. Uh, it'll it'll start at about 12:51 p.m. The moon will just start to peek over the edge of the sun. The maximum coverage of the sun is at about 2:07 p.m. And the eclipse ends when the moon moon slides away uh, from the sun at 3:22 p.m. And again, those times are specific to the Chicago area, not just Chicago, but it's good enough for our area. Um, so will you need glasses if you want to view the eclipse if you want to see the sun directly with your eyes yes you will need safe solar viewing glasses um, to be able to do that there are indirect ways of seeing the eclipse you can make a pinhole projector and what that means is take an index card a piece of aluminum foil something that you can stick a little hole into line up that hole with the sun and project an image of the sun down onto the ground. And that's a way to indirectly view uh, an image of the eclipse, not looking through the hole. That would be putting a focused image of the sun on your eyeball and you don't wanna do that. Um, but those are ways that you can safely either view an image of the sun or if you have the safe solar glasses, if you have them left over from 2017, they should still be good check them just to make sure. Um, but that's a way, the way to see the eclipse directly with your eyes. At no point for the next eclipse in the Chicago area or anywhere outside the path of totality, will you be able to look directly at the sun without safe solar glasses or solar viewers? Um, because the sun is just way too bright. The only folks who will be able to directly look at the sun with just their eyes, are the people who will actually see totality when the moon 100% covers the sun, which that won't happen in the Chicago area. But for folks farther southwest, south and, and up to the northeast, or southeast up to the northeast, um, in that path, they'll be able to do that. The best place to see the solar eclipse is anywhere where it's not cloudy. Seriously, it's, it's really, there's really no, one best place um, because even if uh, a certain location has a, a history of April 8th being cloudy for the most part, that doesn't mean they're necessarily going to be cloudy. Um, and vice versa, down in Texas, they tend to have great weather in the spring, but it could be cloudy that day. So just because you've got the uh, a, a better weather prospect um, doesn't mean it actually might pan out for that for that location. Now, in the path of totality toward the southwest might be a little better chance toward the northeast might be uh, a, a lesser chance. But again, you take what you get with the clouds that might get in the way <laughs> so or not. Um, so there's no one best place to send anyone. What makes this a little different is this path of totality is occurring in the United States. Solar eclipses happen on Earth uh, on average a couple times a year, but they're not always visible to everybody. Um, you may see one of them in the year. You might see none of them in the year. So already they're relatively rare, um, but the accessibility of the path of totality for this one. And by path of totality, it's just those areas where the moon will briefly cover the sun at 100%. That's the path of totality. Because when you map out those locations, it looks like a path on the ground. Um, 
but uh, depending on uh, what type of solar eclipse it is, how accessible it is, uh, they're not always going to have the moon cover the sun at 100%. A lot of them are what we call partial solar eclipses, meaning the moon only partly covers the sun. Um, so there will be plenty of those between now and the 2040s, but the early 2040s are the next time the, that a total solar eclipse will be seen in the United States. The rest of them between now and then, we're only going to see either part of the eclipse or it's not a total solar eclipse. It's just a it's just a partial um, that might happen as well. Um, so none of them are going to be to the extent of this one. This one is in our area, especially in the Chicago area. Um, this is the greatest extent solar eclipse, partial solar eclipse that we're going to get for a really long time. So it's going to be a while before we get to see the, the moon covering the sun at 94%. A lot of them are going to be not that much. <laughs> so that's, that's what makes it exciting. So a solar eclipse is no more dangerous to look at than just the regular sun. You don't go out staring at the sun on any given day. You don't go out staring at a solar eclipse on any given day. The only people who can see the sun safely with just their eyes are the people who see totality. That is safe to look at. Any other view of the sun, you must have legit non-counterfeit uh, solar viewing glasses to be able to do it. This does not work with um, uh, sunglasses or, or, or things like that. So we tell people just don't stare at the sun period. And, and that'll cover you for non-eclipses and for eclipses. Now, what's happening is why it's, uh, why it's just dangerous to look at the sun, especially for um, focusing on it for something like an eclipse, like focusing your attention uh, toward the sun, is the amount of light coming from the sun is intense. And so uh, you have uh, a lot of visible light. You also have infrared light and ultraviolet light. It's the infrared um, and ultraviolet that you especially don't realize that your eyes are being subjected to that. Um, you don't have nerve endings on the back of your eyeball. So you could be experiencing a burn and not know it. And that burn might turn out to be permanent. And so just don't stare at the sun. Don't look at the sun unless you're going to see totality for those brief few seconds or minutes that the sun is covered at 100%. Use those safe, approved, legit solar viewing glasses um, or an indirect way of viewing uh, an, uh, a projected image of the sun. Now for your phone, same thing. You don't normally point your phone at the sun. Don't just point your sun or point point your phone at um, uh, don't point your phone at a um, at, at the sun either because you'll fry your phone, your phone camera. So just don't do that either. <laughs> and, and if you have a way to, they they do make um, solar uh, material for phones there's there's one called a solar snap and i think there might be a few others but i know about that one where you can put solar viewing legit solar viewing material over the lenses on oh. your on your camera and so that and following the instructions for that then you can take a safe image of the sun but if you don't have any of that just don't put your phone at the sun don't point your your eyeballs at the sun um, just use the, the, the safe approved methods and, you, and you'll be okay. It's great that people are interested in this, especially with something that's accessible to your eyes with a minimal piece of safe solar glasses in between you and the sun. And that's all you need um, to be able to enjoy this. And this is not having to spend gobs of money on telescopes and that sort of stuff just makes it all the more fun and um, approachable for a lot of people.